The future we will invent is a choice we make, not something that just happens. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Global Air Bootcamp 2019. Thanks so much for joining us at over 125 different venues across the globe on December the 14th to host these events. A huge thanks to all the organizers who made this event possible. So organizers, please get up and attendees, give them a big round of applause. Today, you're going to be inspired by some of the latest AI technologies, tools and trends. This might be by uh, talks, hands-on labs or workshops that your community leaders have prepared for you. Today is all about learning new things about AI. So we hope you can apply this in your work, in your community or even in your daily life. And so here we are at Ignite Orlando uh, 2019, and there's been loads of really interesting um, AI announcements and updates. So uh, let's head over and check out a little bit more about some of these updates. Thanks so much, Amy and Hank. The Global AI community, which started last year, was hosted in over 50 locations worldwide. This year, we're at 120 locations worldwide. We're so excited to have you here. I have with me Eric Boyd, Corporate Vice President of Azure AI. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing really well. Excited to be here. Really excited about how much this community has grown. It's really incredible just to see in one year how much we've grown in this group. So for people that don't know you, what do you do here at Microsoft? So I lead the Azure AI team here, and so all of the things around Azure Machine Learning, our bot framework, our suite of cognitive services, and of course Azure Cognitive Search, all of those things for our company. So there was a lot of cool things that came out at Ignite. What is our strategy for Azure AI moving forward? So when we think about what we're going to try and do with AI, for us it always starts with research. And so we're really fortunate to have Microsoft Research that we've been investing in for over 25 years. And we take the research and the breakthroughs that they really come out with, and then we pressure test them in the products that we have at Microsoft because at our scale, we have so many different places where we can try out all of these different new ideas and really prove that they add value to customers. And, uh, and then we deploy them through Azure AI to all of our third-party customers and really sort of light everything up that way. Um, we've really been focused on how do we make this easy? How do we really democratize AI so that anybody, regardless of skill level, can really get going with things and, and really become productive with it? Um, and really, we're, we're really excited about how comprehensive our offerings are. You can go from Azure Machine Learning all the way through to suites of cognitive services and the whole spectrum in between and find something that's going to work for your skill level, for your business, for what you need all in one place. So you mentioned AI for all skill levels. What are we doing to help people that are maybe getting started build AI models? Sure. So we've come out with a lot of things in Azure Machine Learning uh, to really sort of make it simple for people regardless of where you are. Uh, at the one end, if you're in a, uh, a sort of a no-code experience, you can use uh, automated machine learning. And we now have a user experience where you can go and bring your data set and predict the column, that, you know, specify the column you want to have predicted, and generate an AI model for you without actually having to understand the logistic regression or the, any of the regularization or the parameters or anything that you might need to do under the covers. And then we can sort of go from there to our designer, which is sort of a, a low-code experience where you can sort of create drag and drop. I want to bring my data. I want to split it into a couple of different sets. I want to train on this. I want to test on this. Again, with parameters for each of the different boxes that you would drag and drop. All the way to a code first experience where you can use a notebook directly integrated into Azure Machine Learning Studio where you can see all of your data and all of your experiments and even all the experiments that your, your team and, and other people you're collaborating with are doing all in one spot. And so we're really trying to make it easy, regardless of where you are sort of on that spectrum, we've got an offering that's really going to make it easy for you. Another thing that we've been focusing a lot on is how do we make it easier for enterprises to manage all of the different data that, that they, all different models that they have. And so one of the things we used to hear a lot is customers would say, I'm struggling to get my first model in production. Now what they're telling us is, I have 100 models in production and I can't keep track of them, I can't manage them. And so that's really where MLOps comes in to really help with the management, the deployment, the getting from the data scientist all the way into production in a really easy manner of doing that. 
And one of the last things that I want to tell you about is we've added our support. This is something we heard a lot of feedback from our customers of, hey, we want our support for our, you know, we have all these existing models. Can we please get our support? So we've added our support directly into Azure Machine Learning now. This is awesome. It feels like we're doing stuff end to end for machine learning practitioners. But what, like some people might be like, hey, you know, AI isn't for me. What are we doing to enhance existing applications with AI? So that's one of the great things is our suite of cognitive services makes it really easy. Even if you don't know how to create your own AI model, you can use these services just really right off the shelf, just like a, any sort of web application that you can. So one of the things we announced earlier this year is Personalizer. We just announced that being in GA. Personalizer is a reinforcement learning based system that really helps you connect users to their content. We use it in places like Xbox where I want to recommend what game should you play next based on the things that you've already done. And so that's available for people who want to optimize you know, different flows on their website and things like that. Uh, we had uh, so much new stuff coming out in the cognitive services. Uh, in speech, we announced that we, you can now build custom speech models based on your organization's Office 365 data. So what we do is we take all of the public groups and information that's available to everyone in your organization, and then we build models for how to go from speech to text on top of that. And that way, when you have you know, jargon that's specific to your company, you know, here at Microsoft, we talk about Kubernetes all the time, and a speech system is not going to know what that is, how to spell it. It's going to recognize it as something really weird. But being able to train on your Office 365 data, now you can get that directly, you know, to really customized to your business and do a lot of cool things with that. Another cool thing we offer, we uh, released in speech, is custom neural voice, which is now where you can take, uh, you, you can do a synthesized voice based on, you know, say your company's mascot or something like that. So if you wanted your call center answered by your company's mascot, um, lots of cool things like that. Um, and then even all the way in the bot side, you know, we we now have Bot Composer. And this is a really great low-code experience for being able to sort of wire up your bots and create them. Um, and you can go all the way to Power Virtual Agents, which is, of course, a no-code experience for how you can create bots. So again, trying to go end-to-end, -end, regardless of sort of your skill level, we've got some application that's really going to fit in and feel natural for you to use in your business and in your applications. I love how we're focusing on the actual users and the challenges that they face and how AI can solve them. I bet there's a lot of customer demands coming in. What are some things that we're focusing on based upon customer demand? So one of the things we hear about from our customers a lot is they have all of this data in their organization and they want to figure out how they can make sense of it. And so we call this area knowledge mining. And it's really trying to figure out how can you use AI to extract all the insights from the data that the customers already have and make it useful for them. And so we took what we called Azure Search and we've rebranded it to Azure Cognitive Search, really highlighting that that's the big thing that you're doing is you're extracting the key entities from it, you're extracting the you know, places and people and things, you're translating it to different languages if you need to, you're understanding what's going on in the images, and then you're making that searchable. You're showing graphs of how these different entities relate to each other and just really exposing all of the information that is locked up inside of all the data that these customers have. I mean, we talked to an oil company that said, I have all this data you know, from the 80s, it's in Arabic about all these oil fields, and I want to be able to use it. And so now using Azure Cognitive Search, you can get all that information and make it searchable and discoverable. So that's something really powerful that our customers have liked. Well, this is amazing. Any final thoughts? I mean, we're really excited about this community and where it's been going and, and really how it's grown, and uh, really look forward to seeing all the great things that will come from the, this global AI community. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Thank you so much for being here at the Global AI Bootcamp. We are so grateful that you're here. Back to you, Amy and Hank. Thanks so much for that update. At the last Global AI Nights, we launched the Global AI Community, a community where we can connect, learn, and share together. We're also really excited to see that during this Global AI Bootcamp, we've got together as that Global AI community to pull this content together that you will see today. Also, it's been really nice to see that lots of local Global AI Nights have been happening. If you're interested in finding out more about them, go to the Global AI Community website. I know what it's all about today, but I want to give you a glimpse in the future of the Global AI Community and the upcoming events. We proudly announced the Global AI Tour starting in March and ending in May. And this Global AI Tour is going to be a series of events that will take place over those three months. There will be online events, there will be local events, there will be a lot of great videos, all organized by the global community for you. 
We hope you enjoyed today learning all about AI. If you want to learn more in the future, check out the Global AI Community website. And mark your calendars for the next event, the Global AI Tour, starting in March 2020. Thanks so much for joining us and have an amazing day.